Well, I know this week's video is in here somewhere. What's this? Oh, this is Ming the Merciless. Working on that. Um, oh, yeah, okay. The Vulture. Got this guy going. Oh, Daredevil. That's not the one I'm looking for. Not looking for the thing. Not looking for Iron Man. I've got a mutant. Oh well, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, but I'm not doing that now. Let's see. Is this it? Nope. That's Silver Surfer. Where is it? Blade. I don't know what that is. Oh, here we go. This week's video. The Phantom. Let me go ahead and get this guy primed and I'll be right back. I had really been wanting to do a Phantom for a while, but you know, unless you could find the outfit, it's just not going to happen, right? And I was able to find the outfit on eBay. There's this vendor, uh, Be Light, who puts out a super authentic uh, Phantom outfit. And by marrying it with the head that I got from Hot Cereal Toys, boy, it's just going to be a fabulous project. So I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys uh, check out the finished uh, result and uh, let's get to it. All right, so this is what I have so far. I have the head, I went ahead and I primed it with a clamshell uh, flat. And um, I had a problem with the, the body because it's a little loose in the, uh, in the socket. So I wanted to show you what I do with these uh, heads when that happens. I use these little dental rubber bands and I just stick them into the, the ne neck plug. And then I use that uh, kind of like, I guess, I have two of them in there sandwiched between the uh, the neck here. And what that does is it helps to um, kind of position the neck so it's not so uh, wobbly. So let me go ahead and get this guy together. I was also testing out the, uh, the, the gun, see if it would fit in his hand. So you can see that that's really tightened up the head a lot. So uh, I'm ready to paint it now. Let me go ahead and get this guy assembled. And I'll be right back. As I was painting my Shazam last week, I found out the one of the best ways to give your face a little depth is to start with a darker flesh tone and move to the light. So what I have here is I have something called the layered Cadian flesh tone. And I'm going to apply that first to the head. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to uh, to cover the rest of it with the lighter color. Yeah, I'm really excited about this Phantom. I really enjoyed that Billy Zane movie. And when I was a kid, I remember finding some of the, um, I don't know if they were graphic no novels or comics. I think we, my library had like a compend uh, compendium of, um, of a bunch of different issues that were bound. I'm gonna see if I can find that online. I'd like to have a copy. I'm just going to go ahead and paint the mask, just in case I miss some flesh in there somewhere. I'll make sure I get, I get it covered. I'm going to go back and paint it black. But for right now, I think uh, the whole thing's going to be flesh. This head right here is made by Hot Cereal Toys, but you know what? There are other heads that are available. You know, um, James Rogovoy makes a head uh, for the Phantom, and so does um, World's Greatest. They also do a head for the Phantom. So you know, there's no um, there's no lack of heads out there for the Phantom if you wanted to do this, just depending on the sculpt that you want. I had picked this up before I saw some of the other ones, and I've actually had this for almost, I think, almost a year. So, 
There we go. That's the base coat of, coat of the flesh. Now I'm going to move over to the purple uh, cowl. And for this, I'm going to use a Walmart paint. <clears throat> and this is called Purple Pansy. So we'll see how, how good this looks on the, uh, on the cowl. I'm trying to match the bodysuit that I got here. And so what this is, is a, uh, here, let me pull it over here. It's like a deep purple. Boy, it's thick. Boy, that's some thick paint. Look at that. Might have to water this down. Looks like I'm also going to need a couple of coats. But that is a nice looking purple. Yeah, it'll it'll need a couple of coats. I guess I don't really have to worry if I mess up here, you know, and extend the cowl into the flesh. I can just come back and paint the flesh again. But I mean, already he's starting to look like the Phantom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and do a touch up. Yeah, I like painting on these bodies, just it gives me something to hold on to. And you know what? The paint actually comes off pretty easily. You know, well, I don't want to stop and wipe it off. You're going to have to take my word for it. Yeah, it looks like a couple of coats. I was on uh, Facebook and I just recently found a um, a whole Facebook page like dedicated to the Phantom and I'm going to show this guy off there. And you know that's kind of like what I enjoy doing with these guys is you know whenever I paint a, um, a different you know if I if I work on a on a custom I usually just post pictures on the uh, on Facebook or you know of course my YouTube page. Or YouTube channel. Boy, this is going to be hard. Okay. And it's just really fun taking pictures of these guys. I'm almost done here and I'll let them dry I might go back and touch up the areas that well you know what let me do the the, the lighter color first and then I'll go back and do touch-ups okay I'm definitely gonna need a second coat Look how messy that looks. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Um, off camera, I'm going to do a little bit of touch up and I'm going to do the second coat on the cowl before coming back. Well, that's drying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece right here. J Spy actually made uh, a little belt for me. I've spray painted it with a Canyon Black, which is a little. Uh, 
it's kind of a satiny uh, black. And then I have something here called, uh, let's see, this is my lead belcher. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to, as, a, as a dry brush to kind of bring out some of the, the features of the belt. And it's going to be uh, a little darker silver. So those, those um, accents are gonna be a little more subdued. And that's all I'm gonna do with this belt piece right here. All right, I'll be back. You know, before I do any major touch up on the face, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the mask. Cause I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to probably paint where I messed up with the mask. Cause I know it's not gonna be perfect. So we'll go ahead and we'll start. And if you paint, uh, you know, paint inside the uh, the eye here because you know what you're gonna you're gonna put uh, white paint in there, cover it up. So, and then I'm gonna go back, like I said, and do some touch up. You know, if you're just starting out on a figure, this might be a good one to begin with because the eyes are always the hardest part to do, and looks like the the eyes are non-existent on this guy. See, already he's looking like the Phantom. Looks like the mask might be the hardest thing to paint. And for the mask, I'm using a really dark black. It's called Abaddon Black by Citadel. But you could just as easily use the um, the Apple Barrel paints from Walmart. Okay, let's see. One little spot left. Okay, now I'm going to let him dry, and then I'm going to do a little touch-up on his face and around the cowl. I might do that on camera, because um, there's some spots there. See, it's a big one. And you might, you'll might you be able to see him, I think. All right, be back in a sec. All right, so let's take a look at the touch-up. You know, I was afraid that you wouldn't be able to see it on camera, because, you know, but it's pretty, pretty obvious where I made my mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some more of the flesh, and I'm just gonna push into the cowl and I'm gonna do like these like wide sweeping motions so you get, you know, so it doesn't look as jaggedy. And you get those clean lines. See what I mean? And what I'm doing is I'm just following the contour there so I can get those nice clean lines and just use the sculpt to kind of help me accomplish that. See what I mean? Get this side. Underneath his chin. Okay. 
All right, see a lot cleaner. I'm gonna do a second coat on the cowl and I'll be back to paint the eyes. All right, I had a little camera problem. I wasn't recording, I did the eyes. You can see they're already done. But I am gonna do some touch up and show you what I'm doing with the eyes. Uh, I put the, the basic white down there and there were some areas that I kind of like uh, went a little too far. So you just come back with your black paint and you just fill in those areas that need to be black. See, kind of trims up the eyes. All right, it looks like I have a little splotch I missed here too on the flesh, so I'm gonna take care of that real quick. So that's how you do your little touch-ups. Now I have to let that dry because I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the uh, lighter portions of, the, you know what, maybe I can do them right now, let's see. There's my dog drinking in the background. For this one, I'm gonna use my lighter flesh tone. It's the Kislev. And I'm just gonna use this as kind of like a dry brush on the nose, the cheeks, the chin. And then you may have to go back and you may have to um, to do a little more touch up. I'm trying not to not to make too much of a mess. But I really liked how it gave that depth to my uh, Shazam figure last week. Yeah, there's a cow. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do what, you know what, maybe I'll just do the wash now. Because if I have to do any touch up, I'll just get it all done at once. And for my wash, I'm using this right here. It's my Gillum, I'm sorry, Gillum and Flesh. And it's called a contrast, but it acts actually acts like a shade. It's very, very watery. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna put it on the lips. Underneath the nose. The cleft in the chin. Wow, looking pretty good. I might do it in the um, underneath the uh, the mask too. This guy might be done. Like I said, this is a pretty simple paint job. Wow. Look at that wash, what it does. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and spray his head, get him dressed, and let's take a closer look at him. You know, I always uh, spray my heads with a uh, clear coat. It's like a matte clear coat just to keep the um, finish protected. And it kind of even evens out the flesh tones, but you know what? Painting the darker colors first and then adding the lighter color on there, this is a way to go with this guy. And that outfit, I wouldn't have this guy without that outfit right there. I was lucky enough to find it on, on eBay, and boy, it looks great. I mean, the, the quality of it is just fabulous. You know, I had some problems with it. When I ordered it, it got lost, and I think it was Tennessee. <laughs> it just went circles in circles over there, and it was like a month, and I still hadn't received it. But uh, Brian over there at uh, the Be Light uh, store just really took care of me. He sent me another one. And wouldn't you know, like a day or two later, <laughs> the original one came in. I was able to mail it back to him, but, uh, you know, good, great customer service and fabulous product. Look at that. 
You know, um, here, let me take off this belt so you get a closer look at it. I showed off a little bit of what I was doing with it, but it's just basically a, a strip of leather. That's not leather, I'm sorry, vinyl that I cut using my uh, paper cutter. And then I just sewed some fasteners on there. And these little holsters, they came from classic TV toys and I just spray painted them black. It was no big deal. The hard part was uh, done by my friend Jay Spy. Let me get this belt back on. The hard part was done by Jay Spy and he did the uh, belt buckle for me. But you know what? Um, the place where I got the, uh, the head sculpt, they do a, uh, a belt buckle too. You know, so if you just wanted to get it from them, I, I think it's, um, I don't remember, maybe nine, ten bucks. So it's not a big deal. But boy, very happy with this guy. Well, I hope you try the Phantom because, you know, he wasn't that hard to do, actually. You know, my hardest, uh, the hardest part of any sort of custom for me is the eyes. And this was super easy. I know I miss painting the little white circles on film or on, uh, on video. But, you know, I showed you how to clean them up. And that's really the important part there. Wow. Until next time, you guys stay safe and have fun, and I will see you guys soon. You guys take care, all right? Bye-bye now.